Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new book uh, review video and um, I found this when I went book hunting recently in a pre-loved bookstore near my place and um, I was really very surprised to find this book in such a good condition <laughs> in that small tiny dusty old bookstore. So yeah, this is Egyptology. You can see that it shines. And um, this is from Templar Publishing or Templar Publications. And this is Egyptology, Search for the Tomb of Osiris. And uh, this is actually a journal that has been converted into this kind of novelty book. This is the back side. It's a hardbound book, but it has removable elements in it. And it has this affixed gem piece here and this lovely, gorgeous artwork that looks like, you know, it's uh, gilded or, you know, enameled. It, it looks beautiful. It looks very, very beautiful. And I really love that there are two tiny gems here as well. So, yeah, it's a wonderful book. So let's get started and it opens up like this and here's where you have the detail of the publisher and the publisher's note and then you have the first removal detail that is it's a letter from the publisher and it is dated to 21st April 2004 and this is supposed to be her journal so there are quite a few removable elements here and the book is just a thrill to you know like flip through yeah so it opens up like that and then on the next page, we have this right here. So this is dated arrival at Cairo. And when you open up, it, I'm so sorry about the sound. There's some construction work going on in the plot next to our building and that's kind of noisy today so yeah it has this um papyrus kind of you know painting or artwork you can see the back and it just has this lovely artwork that you can look at and then you can put it back inside here then the next page we have this the different types of uh, crowns that the kings would wear and it has more details and some other things are also given so notes on ancient egypt it covers a lot of things and then on this side you have a map so that it's the whole map of egypt right from the mediterranean sea following the nile down till here then we have about the pyramids here so these are like lift the flap kind of thing we have short notes on them and then on the next page right here we have a sample of a mummy's cloth so that is like a texture that you can feel yeah so they have a piece of cloth there that you can just feel the texture And then 
then on the next page we have about benny hassan and amarna so it's like going to the tombs of benny hassan and then we have a part here where it says understanding hieroglyphs and this is really nice because even kids can you know like go through it and see what words or what sounds each symbol makes so i think this is really interesting and it also shows you how you can write your name in hieroglyphs i think that's really wonderful then on this page we have a map the temple of seti i think no the osirion built by seti the first it was later falsely thought to be the site of the tomb of osiris and it just opens up like that and you have a map or a diagram of the structure and then right here is another flap that you can lift and read about another one right there and then right here we have this uh game it's a game board of playing senate and uh the instructions are given here and the senate pieces are given right here so you can play you the, you can use this as the board follow the instructions and the rules and you can play the game and um store the pieces back inside again uh these are not plastic these are cardboard but uh, or card stock you could say and these are like well made if you take care of them they last long but uh, little children might tear it very easily too so it's better to be careful with this and it, you have all the pieces that you need and you have these long uh, dice kind of thing that uh, they tell you in the instructions on how to roll them and how to use them so yeah you have the instructions right there then on the next page we have the valley of the kings and right here we have a lift the flap mummy so it takes you through each level of the mummy the first coffin the second coffin the third coffin then the fourth coffin and last is the fifth one so these are all their findings and it takes you through the mummification process as well and then here we have another flap then a postcard kind of thing right there so it this is done more like a journal a scrapbook sort of thing and i really love how it feels and here we have the book of the dead just tells you in brief about the book because it's mentioned in every uh, mummy movie ever so it just tells you what it is then we have the publisher's note right there that um, the journal ends suddenly and this is what they found of it and this is the last page it has a uh, it has an envelope here that has some goodies so you have a uh, the amritsar star to india via egypt it's a back tag from the ship i think yeah and then this is a cairo egypt sticker or you know a cut out or something like that then this is alexandria egypt then this is of course the three pyramids and it's like a postcard and this is not a picture it's an artwork then we have the sphinx right there again a postcard and some artwork again that's a postcard ancient egyptian musicians 
so you can store all of these back in the same pouch and the same envelope that stays closed and though this looks like an envelope it doesn't really uh, open like it's just a picture there's no flap right there and then right here we have this protective eye symbol kind of thing and you can see that this right here is a gemstone sort of thing that glows in a rainbow color and this part looks like it's gilded in gold it's a very shiny material so it's very beautifully done and um, it was an amazing find because I checked the cost on Amazon and it was like far too expensive in India and couldn't have ever bought it there. But uh, finding it at a thrift bookstore, I managed to find it like really cheap. I paid just 500 rupees for it. So I think uh, if you are an Egyptian buff or if you just like us such kind of novelty books you could keep an eye out in thrift bookstores near you and you might probably end up finding one in a good condition like this so thanks for watching do stay tuned to my channel for more such videos and if you uh, like the video then do click on like and don't forget to share and subscribe bye bye